Hello and welcome out there on your internet streaming devices. Driven by Moss 5.0 is online and published and the main new feature is that it comes with the generic Flexi 2.0 which is completely redesigned and even more powerful than before. If you click on that you see as previously there is a Flexi up there and as usual you choose the controller you want to use and now it looks a little bit different before you had the 200 slots below there but with the extended functionality I wanted to add this when pretty unusable so I changed to this new idea to have a slot selector so here you can select the 200 slots and then assign functions to it. The difference is here because you do it like this it's not stored automatically by Bitwig your settings so you have always make sure to store your settings pretty soon so that's the first thing you should do if you want to do a new setup first choose a file name on Windows on Mac you can have a selector here so let's say we want to have a little test here click on open and that's it and as soon as you make a change always click on export then the file will be stored with your settings don't forget that otherwise you will lose your settings on the next restart of the extension or when you reboot Bitwig. Also the file you select here is the one which gets automatically loaded on the start of Bitwig so then you're already ready to start and don't have to load it to make it work. You see it also if you go in the script console you see that the one selected here is automatically loaded when you restart Bitwig so you can also check and make sure that the file is ready to go. So back to here how do you do the assignment that's quite similar than before you move a knob or you click a button on your device or I click a button here you will see that the information received and you can then click on set and assign this here to the selected slot so make sure you have selected the correct slot you want to assign or override and then all the functions open up and this was a thing I changed here before that we had a very very long list and on some smaller computer screens this was already not possible to see them all so now we have a more reduced grouping of categories in here and for example we choose play to assign to it and again don't forget to save your work so let's try that out if I now click here that knob we will have the play working on our controller device and there is also a new feature in here you see here the type so it's CC node and program change but I also added pitch band so basically if you have a Mac MCU device or also the Hui protocol which there is no script available for that you can also use pitchband to control functions in Bitwig so we're pretty complete here by now and the biggest new feature is here that you have also this new section of modes you know modes from my other scripts normally you have a track mode volume mode sense mode panorama mode parameter mode and these things and this gives you the ability with a set of knobs and buttons to control multiple functions if you simply assign another button to switch a mode so you can say uh, you don't see the full list here maybe look move that down a bit modes you have the option to select the item change it's again designed for eight knobs and eight buttons so you have eight knobs you can assign to changing a value you have eight buttons to select the value for example a track or a parameter page and then you get the options to move up to the next track here or the next track page depending on what you have chosen to change the volumes of the eight tracks eight panoramas eight cents and so on and the track mode is the first knob changes the volume second the panorama and then six cents this is pretty powerful so each device which has eight faders or eight knobs or eight buttons you can now use these modes without the need to develop anything and have joy and make some funky music